Hi there, it's DIY here, and I'm Dave Fu. So this is a review video for my 3D printed modular and nest. So I believe that some of you have already watched my previous video on uh, on this review, which I've mentioned that I will transfer my Nylanderia colony into this and nest. So here it is. They have fully transferred into this col this uh, ant nest and yeah they're loving it I believe they are loving it <laughs> so uh, from the previous video uh, I have mentioned that a concern which is the acrylic will slide out from this because it's too loose and there's a 0 0.3 clearance gap here which I afraid that the ants will escape so I use a tape to tape this acrylic but from the new updated version this is the revised version that today I just completed printing it and redesigning it the gap is fit there are zero clearance and the glass, the acrylic will not fall out it's fit It's smooth, but it's fit and it won't fall out. And then, when and it is connectable, I just have to remove this cap of two nests, and then I can just slot it together. I can just slot it together, and from one nest, it became two. The holes are connected, and yeah. So this is literally an expansion of the nest. Well, this nest is only 50 by 50 by 25 mm. So as you can see, it is quite small. So perfect for housing your new captured queen during your founding stage and also can be used as a formicarium for your ants but I wouldn't recommend you to use this to house uh, species like Solenapsis germinata because of their uh, high growth rate so I think maybe in about uh, a month or two they will outgrow this nest and then it will be very troublesome they might try to escape even though they are they couldn't escape but you will need to buy extra of this ant nest uh, unless if you really love this ant nest and you will really invest in it or because you love your ant so much that you want to invest in it then yeah you you can still uh, order it for your solid job, Solenopsis gymnata. This is a Solenopsis nest, and this is a Formica nest. This is the Campanulus nest. So, yes, you can still use it to house Solenopsis, but I'm, I still haven't experimented yet. I will try it this uh, nest with my own Solenopsis gymnata. Uh, if they are able to live in it. And if they love to live in it, and it is, and if they are unable to escape, then I would recommend it. But for now, I wouldn't recommend it first. So I have to experiment myself. And also, um, I have someone asked me about whether is it able to house Terabera diversa. Uh, I'm not very sure, but um, yeah, I will experiment it myself as well. Uh, as soon as I get a Carabara Queen, I will keep her in one of these and then I'll experiment it. So if they are able to uh, live in it, uh, build their co raise their colony in it and yeah, they were unable to escape, then yeah, it will be a great uh, nest to house your ants. Alright, so to the features of this uh, of this ant nest. So I'll repeat again. As you can see, this is the cover. This is the nest configuration. This is the drinking hole. 
So as you can see from this end, uh, NAS configuration, there are some holes here, some lines, which is only about 0.5 mm width, white, 0 0.5 mm white. So uh, ants are unable to escape, not even my Nanagaria colony. They are so small, but they are still unable to escape. So this is how you remove it. Yes, you can change it with a different. You can change it with another nest configuration. Like let's say I want to. Yeah, I can just remove this and pop it in. Done. So then this nest will be for Solenopsis germinata. It's a Solenopsis nest. So and then I just have to put cotton on here. Two cotton balls are enough. Soak it with water and then just put it in. Yep, easy as that. And then just slide back the acrylic. Yeah. So this is my Nalandaria colony. Um, I'm going to show you my cotton from behind. Hope that they won't escape when I open it. This, this mess is actually a prototype. So, yeah. Yep, here's how I put my cotton. Since the drinking hole is here, I'll leave this side of the cotton slightly thicker so that I can just put it in and the cotton will stick out from the drinking hole so that they can drink from the hole. And then, if I want to hydrate my cotton without removing the cover, I can simply use a syringe to put water from this hole, this watering hole, so that the nest, so that the ants won't be disturbed, or even your founding queen won't be stressed. Yep. So this is basically it. So, and you can treat this shell as an outlaw as well. You just have to connect it, remove the end, remove the configuration, next configuration, and just put this cover back. Yeah. Since someone is asking me, uh, what about the outworld? How can I, uh, am I designing any outworld or how can I turn this thing into an outworld? Yes, um, I do have some idea of making an outworld. So, stay tuned so you can get an update on the outworld. Thanks for watching.